Yeah, this is Atwood Farm, and it is the only place that we're aware of where you can get farmhouse style beer brewed in that barn. Come on, peaches, cooperate. Where some see pies or a summer snack, Josh Atwood Smith sees liquid opportunity. I am stuffing all of these peaches into this white wine barrel. He's the founder of Atwood Farm Brewery, creating farmhouse ales and barrel-aged beer with fresh-grown ingredients he harvests just steps from where he works. Fruit, vegetables, herbs. So we have a couple of small orchards with peaches and apples. We grow potatoes and beets and carrots and all kinds of other vegetables to eat, but also a lot of that stuff goes into the beers. And then we forage around the property for things like stinging nettles and blackberries and tree bark and leaves and things like that sometimes too. There's usually some along here somewhere, but they're kind of all oh, here some. Kind of like green, grassy, spinachy character that's really pretty fascinating. Some people might say spinachy in beer, mm -hmm. but yes? Yes, yes, it works, trust me. You can certainly trust the judges at beer competitions where Josh's unique brews have earned honors. All of them made in the most apropos place, this century old barn. It's been added onto a couple times up until like maybe the 1940s or 50s. We moved here when I was like two years old, I think. His parents still tend the land and his partner Amanda designs the beer labels. Otherwise, Josh is on his own. The sole brewer and chief taster. This is all like intuition. There's no recipe for this. This is like you taste it and you decide what needs to happen with it. Atwood is a nano brewery, small enough to allow for constant experimentation. If I want to try something new, I don't have to go through a whole chain of like, hey, can we do this? But you just have to have the conversation in your own brain. I do. <laughs> he always carries this amber farmhouse ale and an oyster stout made with oysters. But everything else is a new creation. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> when do you know it's done? Generally when I taste it and I want to drink more than this much of it. So it's very scientific. Yeah, very. <laughs> his palate hasn't failed him or his customers yet. A one-of-a-kind find for beer aficionados in a one-of-a-kind setting. I love this place. I love being here. It's really special.